Hi guys, it's me Cruella and today I'm going to be doing a dramatic eyeshadow look, full glam, full coverage, full, 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 full coverage, drag queen kind of inspired makeup tutorial. It's very alien-y, it's very futuristic and it's very bougie and it's very summery and I thought I'm going to do this look. So I hope you guys enjoy this look. I'm not going to mumble on, hence I'm speaking really fast. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel, Credit Star. Click the subscribe button down below. All the products and information will be in the description box as well. So I hope you guys enjoy. Carry on watching if you want to see how I created this look. And we'll get straight into this video. Okay, so guys, basically the first product I'm going to use is Soft Ochre by MAC. I love this as a primer. It really, really neutralizes the eyelid and it blocks out any of those kind of like veins. I don't know if you guys can see mine, but I've got right here i've got some veins and it just discolors that and distorts it and makes it look very matte and neutral so that's why i love using mac soft ochre i just love using it. it it's literally like a makeup artist must have and just an everyday essential if you love putting loads of eyeshadows on your lids so that's why i love using this there are many other primers out there, but I always seem to resort back to my Soft Ochre by MAC. To apply it, I'm just going to use a concealer brush like this. This one's from Star Master, and you can get this on Amazon as like a 32-piece brush set. It's really, really, really affordable, and I just love it. And I'm just going to literally coat the whole of the eyelid with this. And just so you guys know, the reason why I'm looking here is just because my mirror is here. That's my makeup in the background, you guys. If you want to see a makeup collection video, then just let me know, you guys, and I'll definitely do that. But yeah, so we're going to coat the eyelid with this. I really, honestly, guys, I'm obsessed with a soft ochre. I don't even know, like, oh, so freaking good. And I will literally use this one or painterly on any client literally any client whether you're 95 or 25 it literally will block out any kind of discoloration or pigmentation on the eyelid and then I just literally tap it in place make sure that there's no like patchiness or harshness and that is just even and then you basically just repeat this on the other eye. Going on from that, we're gonna use our eyeshadows. And I love, and you see, I don't wanna be like that bitch that just copies every other YouTuber, but I'm gonna copy every other YouTuber that does makeup tutorials. You need a transition color. That is like number one, most important thing. And I'm just taking my Morphe 35S palette and Hello, motherfucking Leah. Look at all these beautiful shimmery colors. There's a few mattes in here, and there's a lot of shimmers as well. And I just love it, especially how versatile this palette is. You really can create a look with this. It's got the oranges, it's got the, you know, the blacks, the browns, and then all the crazy colors. I really, really love using it. It's so versatile. And you can definitely create some cray cray looks with this. And I'm just literally going to take a, if I can find one, I'm just going to take a fluffy brush like this, and this one's from Lydia. I'm just going to take this and take some of that white shade. It's a matte white, and you can't go wrong with a matte white just to set it. And I'm literally just going to place that all over the eyelid, just so it stops any creasing. Because I noticed though, I love, I love, love, love my MAC paint pot but if you don't set that bitch in place straight away it does have a tendency to crease and we do not want that because that just makes you look older than what you are and recently I've been doing like a skin analysis of my skin and I've been getting some really really bad wrinkles especially like some small lines some under the eye small lines as well there and I feel my forehead as well and I'm only 21, you guys, and I don't know why this is happening. I do have a relatively unhealthy lifestyle. I do eat junk food, I do smoke, and I do drink. So that doesn't help the situation. And I have an unhealthy obsession with sugar and sweets. Honestly, guys, it's so bad. Okay, so that's done. Then we need a fierce as fuck 
transition color. So I think today I'm gonna stick to my roots and stick to my Morphe palettes because they never let me down. And I think we're gonna go in with, oh, I don't know. I'm so lost for what color to use first. Okay, that's fine. I think I've chosen my color. I'm gonna go in with the 35P Plum palette. And I'm gonna start with this color here. It's like an orangey peach matte brown. And I'm just gonna use that in the outer part of the crease. So where your eye crease kind of comes in, we're gonna go above it and we're just gonna blend that color in there. And we're gonna literally use the same color about five times over, so five layers retouching up, rebuilding the product, getting rid of any excess, and then just re-layering that on top of it. And just keep building it up. So like I say, I use about five coats of the same color just to get that desired transition color. And like I say, concealer is gonna be our best friend with this look. So do not worry about it being perfect at this point. Just make sure that you've got that color down and you've packed it into the lid. This is my, I think it's like my third or fourth time, but I'm just gonna go with three and just do two more lots. Now going back in with the 35P Plum Palette, and I'm just gonna take this bottom left color here I really, really like this. It's like a darker version of this. And we're just gonna place it a little bit lower, basically on the crease. So where that cup crease would sit, where you can kind of see that indent, I'm just gonna put this color on there and I'm just gonna do the same thing, pack it in and then just kind of do circular motions. To kind of just do like draw a circle out but very small okay bitch right this is probably my favorite morphe palette of all time uh, it's a 35u palette and oh my word look at all these crazy freaking colors i'm gonna start off with this peachy shimmery color and it's got like a hint of almost Silver, silver shimmer, and I'm gonna use. Do you know what? I'm just gonna get my little brush pencil case out, and we're just gonna just see what brushes we can use. Going in with this 17 eyeshadow brush. Wait, it's not an eyeshadow brush. It's a blendy brush. I'm just gonna use that color, and we're just gonna literally pack that on again so just tap it into the place you want it and then what i like to do when you get to about here so that point where the where if you're doing an eyeliner where the wing would come out where it gets to about here i like to really really kind of like almost blend it so it's coming almost to your hairline so really really blend it out and apply more pressure than you normally would, but not too much, because the more pressure you have, the more intense the eyeshadow becomes. And you don't want that. You want it to be quite soft here, but you still want it to be intense. And then I like to kind of go upwards and then build this color up some more. Then I think I'm gonna go in next with this vibrant pink color. It's got, again, some gold reflex shimmer in it as well and it is so pretty i don't know if you guys can see it but this one and i'm just gonna layer that in to the eye i'm not gonna blend it so much just yet i'm just gonna pat it on to the eye and then just pat it in a circular motion rather than kind of dragging it Okay, so once we've done that, we want to go in with the 35U palette again from Morphe, and I'm just going to take this 
pink one, which is a much more vivid pink than the one next to it. That one's a bit more peachier, but this one's a lot more darker. So we're gonna go in with this one next, and same again, tap it into where we want it. Okay, so once that's done, we're gonna take our yellow, and I'm just gonna take this Anastasia Beverly Hills duo brush. It's got like a blendy brush at the, this side and more of a precise, sharper blendy um, brush the opposite side, and it comes with the Modern Renaissance palette. So I think I'm gonna go in with this yellow next, and I'm just gonna tap some of that onto a brush, and then I'm just gonna apply it above the middle center of the eye, so just below the brow bone. And keep adding the yellow because this is where we want it to really pop. Okay, now that we've added the yellow, I think I'm gonna go back in with some more of that pink because I feel like I lost a bit of it when we were blending it into the yellow. So I'm just gonna add some more of that to the eyes just so it kind of brings back that dimension and drama. Now, I wanna add some orange, so I'm gonna add some orange. I think I'm gonna go in with this color, which is a vibrant, vibrant, shimmery, this one. It's got a vibrant, shimmery, yellow pigmented glitter undertone and I'm gonna add some of that, I think. And I'm just gonna focus that on the inner part of the eye, so almost where the nose is or where the brow ends. I'm just gonna add some to that. Okay, so now that we've got our colors down, I think I'm just gonna clear up the eye area just to get rid of some of the excess debris. I really sharpen that eye makeup. Okay, so to cut this cut crease, so it looks more like a cut crease, I'm gonna go in with my MAC Pro Long Wear Concealer in NC15, and I'm gonna use a very flat brush for this, just so it really carve out that cut crease. And I like to go in with both sides of the brush so you don't have to keep dabbing back in, especially if you're doing like precise work. Just saves you that time of having to stop and then re-concentrate. And I'm literally, I'm gonna just get closer to you guys. Let me just rearrange my desk. Okay. And I like to start from the inner corner and then work my way out. There you go guys, you have a cut crease, ready to slay the fucking world. And then once you've done that, we're just gonna basically use the colors that we used earlier, but use the same brush and just kind of blend that cut crease out so it's less harsh. So once we've done that, I think we need some more color. So what I'm gonna take next Actually, no, do you know what? We need shimmer, we need glitter. Taking my pigment, and this one's just from my, it's the Reflex Purple Duo one. I'm gonna use this, and we're gonna, where the cut crease is, where we've got that 
extra kind of space, I'm going to place that on there. But I'm going to wet a brush just so it adds the intensity to the pigment. And if I can find the perfect brush, which looks like that one, I'm going to use just a normal kind of small one. And I'm just going to wet it with my Studio Fix Plus. And now all we're going to do is just place it on the eye. Oh my god, this you guys has like a purple shimmer to it and it is honestly blinding. we're gonna add some lashes. Today I'm gonna to be using the Makeup Forever fake, fake Lashes and these are what they look like and they're in the number 156. Primer today, I think I'm gonna go in with my new Urban Decay Optical Illusion Complex Primer and this is for mainly targeted towards combination to dry skin and it also minimalizes your pores. I really like it. It's so super super soft feeling on the skin and just gives your face that really really soft canvas to work with guys today for foundation i'm going to be using two crayon tv paint sticks my first one is the tv white one and it's basically a white foundation stick that's like bulletproof and i'm just going to use that in areas that i want to highlight And then I'm gonna go in with my actual foundation color, which is in the shade 406. You're probably thinking this looks so pale. It looks pale on the screen, but it's literally like a perfect match. Don't forget your neck as well. In areas where you want to contour, I'm gonna take my Lumi Mac Magic foundation and I think this one's in golden beige and I'm just going to apply some of that to areas where I'm going to contour So my cheekbones All around my forehead Especially that forehead because I got a very large one Bridge of my nose And then what I like to do, because this foundation, the Crayon TV Paint Stick is quite tough, I like to go back in with my Studio Fix Plus and just to dampen it all and also make sure that your brush is damp as well, just to make sure that it's easier to blend out. Going in with my L'Oreal Mercier Under Eye Secret Brightening Powder, I'm just going to set the under eye. Now going in with the whole face, I'm going to set the rest of my face with the L'Oreal Mercier Translucent Powder. To bake, I'm just going to be taking my Essence Stay All Day Translucent Fixing Powder and I love this. Whilst that's all cooking in the oven, I'm going in with my bronzer. The bronzer that I love, it's the Hula Bronzer. I'm gonna use that today to contour my face. And I'm just taking this Revanji brush. It's like a um, powder brush, but I love using it to pack in the bronzer. Okay, 
So now we're going to focus on our bottom parts of the eye and we're going to basically just use all the same colours again that we used earlier. So the first colour we'll be taking is pink here and uh, we're just going to use that to colour just below the waterline. Going back in with that orange, we're just going to add that to the inner corner. And then once that's done, we'll just blend it all out with a Landy brush. In the waterline, I'm going to be going in with my Creolon Cream Liner in Snow. It's a white liner and it is beautiful, long lasting, just amazing. Then, to go back in with the same color we used earlier, I'm just going to use that on the bottom lashes. Okay, so brush away any excess. For brows, I'm just going to be taking my amazing Bobbi Brown contour palette and it's the chocolate palette. It's got eyeshadows on this one and then lip glosses on this one but I just use these two brown ones because I feel like they're the perfect shade for my brows and I'm just going to colour them in. And just for a pop of colour in the inner corner, I'm going to go in with this Model Zone Duo Chrome Eyeshadow in Golden Light 04. And this is literally like sickening. For highlighter, I'm going to be using my Becca Opal. And this is amazing. It's so good for pale skin bitches. For lipstick today, I'm just going to be using Matte's Kinda Sexy. It's a gorgeous matte. To finish it all off, I'm going to use my Fix and Miss Fix Plus from Matte. And that, you guys, is the finished look.